back again with another review. Um, today we've got something that quite a few people have uh, shunned in the past, yeah. as I have. I think it's probably a source that most of them, have, most of us hotheads have, uh, have started probably in the past, and it's one of Dave's insanity sources. Now it's not the um, normal Dave's insanity source that you see in the stores, and it's uh, a handful of, uh, of extract for that horrible, shitty, metallic taste. Yeah, it should be clean because they're not in it. Yeah, there's no um, there's no extract in it, and it is uh, Dave's Scorpion Pepper Gourmet Sauce. Uh, I'll read the ingredients out. It's uh, scorpion peppers, water, salt, acetic acid, and xanthan gum. So pretty simple ingredients. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, yeah, but we'll we'll put all the cast all the dispersions aside of what we've thought in the past with the the extract sauce and. We'll give it a, f a fair dim can go, won't we? We will do. What we'll does it, it, say, it say about the heat level? Uh, this sauce will sizzle the taste buds right off your tongue with the terrifying heat of the scorpion pepper. <clears throat> Warning, use this product one drop at a time. Keep away from mice, pets and children. <laughs> Not for people with heart or respiratory problems. Uh, shake well and refrigerate after opening. Now, uh, this was given to us by uh, one of our friends, and it always seems the same when... I'm an asthma attack. When any of our friends seem to go on holiday, they always bring us the most daftest hot sauce ever. They think because we like hot stuff, then automatically we want, like, um, shit in my mouth, or <laughs> yeah. Satan's bollock sweat, or... Yeah. Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? It's so, like, let's uh, make them suffer. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll give this one a try anyway. We'll see what it's like. So, I'm quite looking forward to it because it's, it's more natural than no extract. That's the bit I'm looking forward to. Yeah, our cupboard is laden with prank sauces that people have bought us off uh, off holiday that we just didn't fancy and just not got around to doing. Like no. Goth Bomb, 6.4 yeah, we'll million. Have to, and... we'll, yeah, to be fair, that'd be a good one for Sai to do. To be fair, he's not with us today because he's... Uh, He's been been a bit busy. He, he runs a, an IT business, and apparently <coughs> he's been, being hacked by the Chinese. Mm, but yes, this, this, this happens at night, though. Yes, he is a busy boy, but that sort of smells straight up of uh, of super hot peppers and a little bit of vinegar. It smells a little bit like um, like a cider. Yeah, it's got that. You know what I mean? Like a like a, a cider that's been spilt on the table for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it must be the it must be the acid. Mm. Mm. Right. Anyway, we'll spoon her up and we'll give her a go. Yeah, I'll let you let your uh, put your own doom. We're swallying some old old rosy tonight. Mm. Well, uh, we'll go with that, man. I think. Brave boy, pal, you're a brave boy. Well, you need to match me. <laughs> <laughs> I may look stupid. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's, that's a fair enough go, that is. Uh, consistency wise, not bad pouring consistency. Yeah, it's nice and pulp, isn't it? Nice yeah. flakes of pepper. Loads of uh, pepper in there, quite a few seeds in there too. And so, notice on the back, it's, it's actually made in Costa Rica. So, <sighs> it just doesn't smell good, does it? <laughs> It just smells like vinegar, chilies and pain. Yeah. Right. Chin chin. Yeah. Down the to Pour on tomorrow. <laughs> it's very bitty. It's going to be a builder, isn't it? A bit of flavour, but yeah, salt. You'd said previous, and it is quite salty. Yeah, my <coughs> my uh, anticipation. <laughs> my anticipation of the sauce was going to be heavily salty. That's really making me saliva. That <coughs> salty. It's got me at the back of the throat. It's, it's not. not got, sorry, go on. Sorry, no, you can hurry. It's not as outstandingly hot as I thought it was going to be. I mean, my tolerance is fairly low at the moment. It's it's not uh, up there. Um, I thought it'd be built more of an all round bird. It's got me at the back of the throat, mm. <coughs> like like a tickle. Mine's back of the throat. Um, my lips, just yeah, gnawing <laughs> yeah. away at the at the lips. Um, just a good all round burn. The initial flavour in the mouth, 
I personally won't be using this as a condiment as a table sauce. The flavour to start off with isn't very nice. It's um, yeah, it's just like like chilies that have been soaked in some old scrumpy and uh, yeah, quite an earthy taste to it. It's a bit like if somebody was trying to make a homemade Tabasco and it's gone slightly skew with. Yeah, yeah. Almost like, yeah, almost right, fermented. Like Louisiana, yeah, anyway, Louisiana sort of, isn't it? Mm. Um, to use as an additive to chilli con carne and to what have you, then uh, you could put a, a good glug in there to um, to met the flavour. So yeah, I've got that um, decent chilli flavour to it and to give a, a, a boost of heat. But as a sauce for me, putting it on burgers and chips and what have you, I've not had one on the head. <coughs> oh no, yeah, it's got it's got to use as an additive, definitely. Yeah, there is a bit more flavour on the second spoon. Mm -hmm. The heat is nowhere near what I expected it to be. No, um, we've had it a lot worse, and well, with UK made sources from, from, from well, I'll take when I say small producers, but uh, there's been when a lot you say a lot worse, you mean in terms of no, heat, the heat, not in yeah. terms of flavour. Oh no, the flavour, no, the flavours, the flavours pretty poor. Mm. Um, it is it is very salty. Yeah, I think to add heat, like you say, to a chili con carne, it would per be perfect for that because it's going to give the the actual heat and the flavours shouldn't really come out of it because it's it's, it's mainly salty. Isn't it? Yeah, I think you could do a lot worse than actually having that. And sometimes if I have uh, a sauce either that we've reviewed and it's hot as stink, and I have it in the fridge for a while, and I'm just adding little bits and bobs to. Um, a chili or a curry, sometimes it can actually go off in the fridge before I get to finish it. Whereas I don't think that is of that heat level that it had been in the fridge too long that uh, that it had spoiled. So um, I think I'm going to take that to work and leave it in the fridge. And see if anybody takes it all. But yeah, yeah. To be fair, I'm going to swag aside. But it's actually made it a bit the burn a bit more. Excuse me. Yes, but yeah, for, for what we've had before, from my memories first of Dave's Insanity Sauce, it's nowhere near as bad as that. Um, yeah, so yeah. Like if you was to give it a, a heat rating, so you out of 1 to 10, I know we haven't before, but what would you give that? 7, 7 and a half? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think I'd give that a 7, yeah. From some of the sources that we've done that have mm. been Reaper based and uh, yeah, Aruga really based and what have you, being up near the Thames, um, and like Five Finger Death Punch and stuff like that, is uh, near the Thames. So I'd mm. say, yeah, a seven. The burn's lasting. It is It is quite quite mm. long lasting, but. Yeah. Flavour wise, out of ten, possibly for me, probably a four, five. To be fair, I was going to give you a clue, I was going to do that five. <laughs> but yeah. I say a five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there you are. Not a bad sauce. Uh, I've certainly had worse. Uh, so that's Dave's Gourmet Scorpion Pepper Hot Sauce. Yeah, thanks Louise for bringing that back from sunny Miami. I'm sure that's readily available, as are most of Dave's Insanity Sauce, if you want to pick that up. Yeah. Um, if you want to check us out, we're always posting on our Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description. Most shenanigans that we're doing, hot sauce, reviews... This time of year, festivals galore that we're going to. So uh, check us out and uh, give the page a like. Thank you. So thanks again for watching yeah. another review. I'll be back with you again soon. Cheers. Cheers.